In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Blender and the Blend for Web software development kit to make an interactive scene that you can run inside a browser. Before you can do this tutorial, you have to install the Blend for Web software development kit. Click the link for the Blend for Web website where you can download the software development kit and there is a tutorial there that shows you how to install it. Installation is straightforward. In the user preferences, in the file section, the scripts field must contain the unzipped SDK folder and in the add-ons, the import export blend for web must be enabled. To make a domino, set the X scale to 0.4, the Z scale to 2, and the Z location to 2. Blend for Web works on the underlying mesh, so in the object menu you have to apply any scale or rotation. Click the Material button, click the Diffuse color, and set all three values to 0 0.02. Click the Modifiers button, click the Add Modifier button, Add an array modifier, set the offset to 4, the count to 8, and click Apply. Go into Edit Mode. In the Mesh menu, Vertices separate by loose parts. Go back into Object Mode. In the Object menu, Transform Origin to Geometry. To move the dominoes, press G for grab, X for the X axis, minus 11.2 and enter. Add mesh plane. Set the X scale to 12, the Y scale to 4. Click the material button, click the new material button, click the diffuse color, set the green and blue values to 0. In the object menu, apply scale, change the view to the front view, drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and zoom back with the mouse wheel, add mesh cube, set the X scale to 1.2, the Z scale to 0.2, the X location to minus 13, and the Z location to 4. In the object menu, apply scale. Because there's lots of cubes in the scene, I'm going to call it platform. Add mesh UV sphere, set its X location to minus 13, its Z location to 6, and set its shading to smooth. In the View menu, Align View, Align Active Camera to View, and zoom in with the mouse wheel. With the camera selected, press G for Grab, Z and Z again for the local Z axis, and move the mouse to move the camera back. Up to now, I haven't used Blend for Web. I've used Blender in the normal way. I'll put a link to this file so that if you want to make this your starting point, you can download it. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web. Some of the panels in the Properties window have changed and there is a Fast Preview button, click it. And the scene is encoded so that it can be displayed in a browser window. To make the domino run work, we have to set up the physics for the objects in the scene. I'm going to start with the platform. Drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the button bar and click the Physics button. The platform will be static as far as physics is concerned, but the ball will collide with it, so we have to tick Object Physics. Select the plane and do the same. Because we want the sphere to fall with gravity and collide with the dominoes, we have to set the physics type to Rigid Body and tick Object Physics. 
we have to set the collision bounds to sphere and because it starts off the domino run we have to tick no sleeping. The dominoes also have to be set to rigid body and their collision bounds to box. Each domino has to be done separately so I'm going to jump ahead Set the physics for the final domino. Type rigid body, collision bounds box. To set up the logic to tilt the platform, change the timeline window to a node editor window. Click the scene button. Open up the logic editor panel. Tick logic editor. Click the add new logic node tree button. Click the Blend for Web Logic Nodes button. Click the Browse button and select the new Logic Node tree and zoom in with the mouse wheel. The starting event will be selecting the sphere. In the Add menu, Control Flow, Switch Select. In the Object field, use the mouse wheel to scroll down and select the sphere. Connect the entry point node to the switch select node. To tilt the platform, add object transform object. In the object field, use the mouse wheel to scroll down and select the platform. Set the Y rotation to 45 and set the space to local and connect the nodes up. Click the Fast Preview button and the scene will load in your default browser. Click the sphere and hopefully the platform tilts and the physics works. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to use the Project Manager to create the files needed to upload the scene to a web server. That's the end of this tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website, click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.